All right, thank you very much. It is a pleasure to be joined by the head coach of the Utah Utes, Kyle, Kyle Whittingham. And Coach Whittingham, it's great to have you here on the program. And Kyle, when you look at your team, obviously you guys normally fly below the radar. Not this year. Favorites to win the Pac-12 South. Do you like that, being kind of the hunted instead of the hunter, and now everybody's looking at you as the top dog in the program? Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, there's some pros and cons. Uh, you know, the positives are that, a lot of people recognize that we have a lot of good players returning and, and a lot of talent on this football team. And uh, it's not something that we have never been in. You know, back in the Mountain West Conference, we were in the, in the, uh, you know, the favorite to win the league a few times. And so, so it was not completely uh, unfamiliar territory. But, but uh, you know, we, our, our MO has, through the years has been to uh, play with the chip on our shoulder and, and uh, you know, kind of be the guys that are a little bit under the radar. So since we got in the back 12, this is certainly a, a first for us. And, and I think our guys are handling it so far. You know, we'll find out. But so far, they seem pretty grounded and, and uh, doing a good job of blocking out the noise and just going about their business. Absolutely, Coach. And obviously, you've got some playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. Zach Moss, Tyler Huntley, we know about those guys. Who else can you wrap around them to really make this offense explode? Well, Britton Covey, our receiver, who's uh, you know, done so well for us his uh, freshman and sophomore years. He's back for his junior year, uh, as well as uh, you know, four or five other receivers that that are in the mix, Damari Simpkins, Sol Solomon Enos. Uh, let's see, we got Samson Nakua, uh, Jalen Dixon, a deep threat. So we've got we've got a pretty good receiving core uh, to complement Zach Moss in the run game. Uh, offensive line-wise, we've been good for a lot of years up front. Uh, we did have uh, you know, some, some took some hits with graduation this year, but but right now we're, uh, we think we got a, a chance to be pretty good all up front when all is said and done. We're still not there yet, but uh, we've got some good – good uh, young athletes in the program and, and they're developing and just got to get the right five guys out there. Absolutely coach and obviously you're a very well-rounded team when you talk about the defense you have to start with Jalen Johnson uh, maybe the premier cornerback not just in the Pac-12 but maybe in the country uh, what is it about him that makes him so versatile and so good? Well he's got a great skill set he's got uh, speed size quickness uh, fluid hips uh, great ball skills uh, he's competitive. Uh, he's a student of the game. You know, he's a he's a relentless worker on the field and a, and a relentless studier of film. I mean, he's in there constantly trying to find that little edge to make himself better. And so, he's a guy that's got the whole package physically, and he's got the right mental makeup. Absolutely, coach. And obviously, when you have a guy like that, uh, such a high caliber player at the corner position, how does that free up the rest of your defense when you can really just count on that guy and you know he's always going to do his job? Yeah, it's a great weapon for a defensive coordinator. The two biggest uh, weapons and, or the highest commodities that uh, a defensive coordinator can have are a shutdown corner and a, and a great edge pass rusher. And, and uh, you know, the, the shutdown corner uh, term gets used a little bit loosely throughout the country. There's not very many of them. We feel that Jalen is, is definitely a legit shutdown corner, which allows the defensive coordinator to, to do a lot of different things with his coverage, roll the coverage away from him or – play what we call star coverage, put Jalen on their best receiver and just shadow him all all afternoon or whatever the case may be. But it gives you a lot of options and uh, it takes a lot of the pressure off of uh, the other corner. Absolutely. And we know that Bradley and I is going to lead your defensive line here, Coach. You know uh, how talented this kid is. Maybe the rest of the country does not know yet. They're probably going to get an education again this year. What is it about him that makes him special? Brad is a uh, you know, prototypical, de prototypical defensive end. He's Nearly 6'4", he's uh, 260 pounds, uh, great quickness off the ball, uh, relentless pass rusher. He's a guy that uh, just, uh, his motor never stops. I mean, he's a, he's a great practice guy, uh, a team leader, and, uh, you know, it all translates onto the field. He's been playing good football for us since his true freshman year. Coach, do you guys set personal goals? Like, would you say, hey, and I, we want you to get to this here? Or is it really just team-oriented in, in that the defense as a whole? Do you give them specific things that you want to try to have them shoot for in an upcoming season? Well, we do, but we don't, we don't give them to them. We have them set their personal goals. And we, have, we write these down every year, and that's a, that's a part of our preparation process, getting ready for the season is to set team goals and then let the players set individual goals for themselves and, and – uh, and just work to achieve them. Absolutely, Coach. And we know, obviously, the Holy War, a huge game every season for Utah and BYU. This time, you guys go to BYU. You've beaten them eight straight games. It's kicking off your season. How important is it to make this one nine in a row? 
Well, the rivalry is, is always important. It's uh, in-state bragging rights. And, you know, now that we're not in the same conference, we haven't been in the same conference for a lot of years now. So that took uh, a little bit of the, the luster off the game. But, but it's still every bit of intent, as intense and uh, competitive as it's always been. And uh, like I said, the main thing is just in-state bragging rights for the for the fans. And, and there are some in-state recruiting battles that we still go head-to-head uh, you know, on some players. And so it would be uh, important in that regard as well. Coach, does this team feel any different to you going into this campaign? Obviously, as we talked about at the top, very lofty expectations. How comfortable and how good do you feel about this team? Well, I love their attitude. They've got a great work ethic, great attitude. Uh, leadership is, is really starting to emerge. And that was something about last year's teams. We had tremendous leadership and uh, just a great work ethic. And this team seems to be following suit and maybe even taking it to another level. We'll find out. All right, absolutely, Coach. We appreciate you taking the time to join us here. Best of luck in the upcoming season. We'll be watching. Thanks for the time. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me on.